back to Dunham Park Zoo. Uh, we don't have very much to show you this week, but I thought I would show you um, the little bit that we have done and just do a really quick video here for you. So we're down in Tejicam right now, um, and we're going to walk around to the back of the Penguin Plunge. I took uh, a little bit of a break from the Southeast Asia, or the Asian Highlands uh, section this week, so um, to work on some stuff back here. And as you'll see, I love me some modded animals this week, I tell you what. So um, there's just like this little pop-up tent that does, um, it would be like face painting for the kids and stuff. Uh, and then um, we'll go around to the back here. We got this new um, billboard for the back of Penguin Plunge. Um, this section is, is pretty big and open. Um, I imagine it would get pretty busy down in here and that maybe they would do like animal shows and stuff in here. So I wanted to keep it fairly open with some big shade structures. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure. I might try to fit something back here. It's just everything I tried kind of looked weird. So yeah, I put in these um, penguin statues I found on the workshop. Um, and then I also put in like just a little booth where there would be a staff member here um, to give you information on signing up for zoo memberships and, and all of that. And then over here we have a new habitat. So this is our African penguins and they're outside because obviously they're African penguins, they can stand the heat. So um, yeah, they have a little doorway going into uh, the penguin building, but they mostly would just stay out here, I think. So they have a pool, there's a whole bunch of them swimming around in there. And they come, they can get all the way up around here and, and stand on the rocks and stuff, but I think they just got fed so they're all swimming around under there. These guys look really great. Um, the modders are absolutely just killing it with these these mods um see if i can pull one out of the water so you guys can, can see what they look like because they're pretty great oh no oh we're gonna lose our tedge cam <laughs> oh man all right so let's find them okay so yeah these are the the little african penguin mods they're pretty great. All of these mods that I have are um, available on Nexus and they're all standalone mods that just drag and drop into your um, Planet Zoo folder. So it's super, super easy uh, and you don't have to replace any of your current animals so you don't um, lose an animal to gain an animal anymore. The modders have really figured it all out and they work really good. I've never had any problems with them. Um, no game crashes or anything like that. So they're pretty pretty stable and safe so yeah we got uh, custom education over here for them talking about like why they can be out here in the heat and, and that sort of a thing yeah and then uh, if you come over this way um, we have a petting zoo doo, doo, doo. so this is the urban farm so um, just have this little uh, rules Thing. Um, I started an interior on this barn, but I haven't finished it yet, so I'll get some little stalls and pens in here that would have like smaller animals like rabbits and holding pens for the animals um, when they come in. And there's lots of these sanitization, um, hand sanitizer things around. As well as, if you go, we go in here, there is like a big hand washing station. These sinks are off the workshop. Um, I think you just search sink and they'll come up. I did edit them a little bit. They were a little bit different on the workshop, but I, um, I took the twist knob, um, what would you call them, faucet things off and put these steps in. Um, you would see these more, I think, in something like this where you step on it and the water starts. And then uh, an air dryer, hand dryer. Um, and again, a sanitization thing. So yeah, you come in here and on the left we have the bigger animals that you wouldn't be allowed to go in with, but you could certainly pet them over the fence and stuff. So we have Leaf's cow mods in here and uh, as well as his pig mod is in here somewhere, unless he got out, which he gets out all the time because he's pretty small. He should actually be probably on the other side, but. And then the alpaca mod. Where is 
Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> the pig who is out again. He keeps getting out because he's, I think he might be made from a goat or something that he can climb out. But I don't know. That's kind of like a funny little thing that the pig keeps getting out. And then I imagine there would be a staff member that would be here to let kids um, in and out because they would have to limit how many people could be in with the uh, small animals at a time. Yeah, and then this side just has the chain link to help keep the smaller things like chickens and bunnies and things like that in here. So yeah, you go in this gate um, and we have some chickens. We have two different kinds of goats in here. Um, as well as we have some implied animals like uh, geese and swans and stuff and there are little implied rabbits around here too and they're so tiny and cute I love them I wish we had a real uh, rabbit and then we have a floating chicken apparently uh, yeah two different kinds of sheep mods they're really cute these ones are so good um, fluffy wise, but I really like these ones, the black heads and legs, those are so cute. Yeah, and, and the goats, and then, um, this is inspired off of the petting zoo at Edmonton Valley Zoo. They have this green roof that the goats can go up there and, um, graze on the green roof and stuff, so, uh, I did that as well, so you'll see the goats and the sheep actually go up there too. Oh, I think he's going to go up there. Um, and they run around. They don't actually eat it, obviously, but uh, we can just pretend. And they, they really like going up there for some reason. Yeah, and like a little implied turkey over here. He's going to go up there. <laughs> they always do this big slow motion jump. It's so funny. But yeah, they, uh, they climb around up there and have a good time. <laughs> They're pretty cute. Pretty fun time. Anyway, yeah, so this is the, the area that I worked on this week. Um, I'll work on it a bit more and, and get an interior done in here and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it for this area. And then over in the Highlands, I did uh, a couple little things. Like I redid the interior here for the red panda so it wasn't so kind of empty and plain. Gave them a lot more stuff to climb on and a lot more little houses to, to live in and, and sleep in and hide in and stuff. Um, the horses did end up foaling and having their little babies and they're pretty cute. So I turned aging off so that they would stay babies forever right now. Yeah, and then... Uh, custom education signs over here so that that's done and then um, the mod came out for a palace cat so I think instead of the links um, I'm gonna do a pair of palace cats right here and then keep going up that way I think I am gonna go up to some red pandas or not red pandas some giant pandas up here um, in more of the the mountainous region up here but yeah not too much done over here so been super super busy with work so I haven't gotten a lot done um, in this zoo just this oh and the other thing I did start uh, I did start a little bit I don't even know if it's worth showing but I did start over here is where I'm gonna put the um, staff entrance so um, staff and service trucks will come in over here and then I'll put like a big main staff hub and then from there it'll have access roads to different parts of the zoo but yeah, that's the plan so far. And then that way, um, because I, I don't think that like s staff and, and deliveries and stuff like that, the access would not be the same parking lot as the main guest parking access. So that's what I started over there. But like I said, I haven't had a ton of time. Um, and then this week coming, I'll probably be pretty busy. Uh, because Wyatt had to pull out of the Terra Nova project because he's just got so much on the go. Um, so I'm going to step in and do Terra Nova next week. So tune into that Saturday morning. It'll premiere, um, I think, probably about 10 a.m. my time, which is GMT. 
So whatever time that is, it'll premiere Saturday. Um, and then it'll, of course, be available after the live premiere to just watch back. Um, yeah, and I think I'm not entirely sure yet what I am building. I've kind of got a couple little things that I've been working on um, for that. So next week, I'll probably focus mostly on that. So it'll probably be another two weeks before we get a Dunham episode again. Um, yeah, so that's all we have for you this week um i hope you like it if you have any comments or suggestions or anything like that um let me know in the comments down below and i hope you have a great day thanks <laughs> bye